Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about reading scholarly articles. Scholarly articles can help you show what experts on your topic have found in their own research. If you've ever heard the words scholarly article, peer-reviewed article, academic article, or scholarly journal article, that's what we're talking about here. Articles written by experts to discuss their research, then reviewed by other experts before publication. Scholarly articles are probably a bit different from other source types you might be used to reading. They are usually substantially longer than a news article or other popular source. They also often have abstracts and long lists of references or works cited either at the end of the article or in the footnotes throughout. They may also contain some jargon or terms used by experts in the field that you might not understand. If you don't know the meaning of a word, it's okay to look it up. If you're not sure if what you're looking at is a scholarly article, ask a librarian. You also read scholarly articles a little bit differently than popular sources. When you read popular sources, you likely read them from start to finish, though sometimes you can skim through them for some important points. But when you read scholarly articles, you're going to need to adjust your reading strategies. We recommend that you break scholarly articles down and read them a little out of order to make sure you're understanding the author's research question and findings. First, read the abstract. This brief high-level summary of the article usually contains information about the author's research question, how they did their research, and what they found. The abstract will help you determine if this article relates to your topic or research question. Next, read the introduction to get an idea of what the authors were looking to research. Often, the introduction lets you know what research preceded this article and the author's research question. Then, read the conclusion to see what the authors found. The discussion and implications sections are also helpful to read if the article has those sections. They can help you make sense of the author's research and its importance. After reading the beginning and the end of the article, go back and read or skim through the body of the article. There may be a literature review which summarizes major takeaways from the research that has been conducted to date related to the topic. There may be some sections labeled methods, which describes how the study was set up and data was collected, or results, which contains the data that the study collected, and often contains charts or graphs. Keep in mind, though, that these headings aren't standard across all articles. Sometimes you may need to do some extra skimming to figure out where the research questions, conclusions, and other details appear in your chosen article. As you read, try to figure out how this source could help you answer your research question. Does it provide important quotes from an expert's perspective, useful statistics and data, a new perspective that you haven't considered, or maybe even a counter-argument? Take notes as you read, especially about main ideas and connections between other sources you've read. Librarians are a great resource when it comes to reading and understanding scholarly articles. If you're still not sure how to read a source, come talk to us and we can help you figure it out. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to the Fulton Library if you ever need help.